Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. So, I wanted to give you an update. Here are the babies. Um, mommy's dancing around behind me. So, today is Saturday, May 5th. Um, like I said, I hope everybody has a wonderful Cinco de Mayo. But I wanted to give you an update. Um, all these little puppies are doing fabulous. They're all fat and happy and full. Little miracle, although. Uh, Wednesday, she took a turn for the worst. And she wasn't, I wasn't able to get her on um, mommy. She wasn't eating, so I rushed her to the vet. And they gave her some fluids and some B12. And we were really, really hoping that she'd pull through, but she ended up passing away um, late Wednesday evening. Um, it broke my heart because I was really attached to her, and I put a lot of sweat and, and time and effort into trying to, to keep her alive. And there was just something special about her, I thought, but... Um, the doctor said that she was a waterhead. I've never heard what that is before. I mean, I've heard the term before, but I've never really been explained, um, what it is. I assume it's, um, now don't turn the water on, baby. Um, I, I assume it's when you get water on your brain. Um, she didn't look any different than any of the other puppies. She looked exactly the same, um. So, I think that because the lady wrote down, because she's a mixed breed, and the lady wrote down that she was a Maltese, and she's actually, she was more Chihuahua than anything else. Um, she's got that kind of circular head. It could be a possibility because the Chihuahua mix was not even put in there that he automatically assumed that her head was misshapen because it was not the shape of the, the Maltese dog. I don't, I don't know how that works. Anyway, um... I think he was crazy when he said that she was a waterhead. He also said that she had the beginnings of a cleft palate. Um, so, I, to be honest with you, I hate to say this, but in my opinion, the vet was... Oh my goodness, that's what I think too, little Mim Mim. And Mim Mim wasn't even there. Um, I, I, I think he was busy. He had a lot of cases... It was after hours um, when he finally got to me. I ended up sitting in the waiting room for a little more than an hour. And to me, um, a puppy that is clinging to life is just as much as an emergency as anything else. And um, the entire time I sat there, there were no life-threatening emergencies that came through there that would stop her from going ahead and getting back there and getting treatment. Um, I'm not blaming the vet. Um, she, I had three and a half absolutely glorious days with her. She was wonderful. <coughs> Excuse me. She is, um, she was very sweet and, um, receptive to petting and, and loving. And, and that last day, um, I kind of knew something was going to happen and she wasn't going to make it just because of the way she was acting. And uh, I spent all day with her. Um, so she, she got loved on. She got um, supplemented. Uh, she didn't take a whole lot of it. But she did get supplemented with some um, some milk. And um, well, I guess I can move you guys around so you can at least see the dogs instead of staring at some sleeping blobs. Here we go. Let's see here. Um, so anyway, I supplemented her, and um, that one's got little white paws. And there's another little one. See, they're doing so good now, they're not even curling up next to each other really anymore. Just little fat balls. Look at my hand, though, up against them. They're huge compared to what Little Miracle was. But anyway, she was loved on and, and, um, and kissed and cuddled and... Um, and petted, and more than any three-day-old three dog has probably ever felt before in his life. Um, 
So, I made sure that she knew she was very loved, and I did um, put her to rest with her brother. So, anyway, um, that's... I buried her with her brother, so she's not by herself. I, my, my video just turned off, so I'm not sure where it where it um, stopped at. So, she's... Uh, She's playing with her brother and in heaven now, so I guess all is good. Um, and honestly, she should not have made it. She was so, so little and so weak and frail. Um, I'm glad I got the time with her that I was able to get with her. There's one awake. Of course, Mommy's nowhere to be found. I guess Mommy went hard at it for about a week, and now she's... Like, okay, y'all can eat on your old. <laughs> I guess after three litters, she's she's about done with this mommy thing. <laughs> she ought to learn her lesson. So hopefully I can get her fixed before this mess happens again. This is the second litter she's had and gotten pregnant with before the time limit was up for me to even go take her to the vet to get her fixed. So hopefully this won't happen again. Try to keep them separated and um, the boy from the daddy from mommy. Um, so that this doesn't happen again, at least until we can get her fixed. So, but here they are now, and um, I thank you guys for watching and, and all the prayers and good wishes for a little miracle. I thank you so very much. They meant the world to me. Um, but like I said, she. She's with God now, and, and she's playing and happy and healthy, and she's strong and the way she was supposed to be. So, um, God let her be here for three and a half wonderful days and let me spend time with her. And I, I'm so very grateful that I was able to, to be able to do that with her. So, anyway, I just want to keep you updated. I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, Sorry, I had to deliver some, some sad news, but everybody else is doing great, and um, we will get back to the reborning uh, first thing next week. Um, hopefully, uh, actually, probably later on today, I uh, might be able to post um, a video, or maybe this weekend. Uh, I've got a baby that needs to be put together, and I'd love to put together with you guys, so stay tuned. Turn on your little bell for all your notifications uh, so you don't miss a video. And thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with all of your friends. We'll see you guys later. God bless.